Well, I think we should continue our class now. So it seems the two students are missing. No? <laughs> so no, that's why we say no, the, the knowledge, the wisdom is very, very essential. No, very, very essential. No? So if you have the wisdom, no, you would understand that no, this is the best chance, the best chance now not to learn the teachings of the Buddha. And the most important teaching of the Buddha is this Abhidhamma and meditation. No? Now we are teaching them to you now. And actually I'm teaching in more detail than I taught before. And both I and the Anthony, we are exerting great effort no, to explain to you in detail so that you can understand. No, so, the knowledge of the, uh, the Buddha's teaching is the most no, important knowledge and the most beneficial knowledge in life. No, so, just listening to the, to the Dhamma, no, so you are developing moral minds. So, listening to the Dhamma, studying the Dhamma, is also part of meditation. It's part of meditation. No, so why you are listening to the Dhamma? So if you can listen attentively with respect to the teaching of the Buddha, then you are developing moral minds by billions every second. No, so you are getting billions of dollars every second. So you cannot do any other job to get billions of dollars every second. But here you get it. No, you get it. Also, you should know it is very beneficial. And as I told you, this Abhidhamma is most interesting because it tells about ourselves. No? About ourselves in detail. And the mind is the most you know, the powerful faculty in the whole world. It controls the whole world. And it is your mind you know, that determines your success and failure, happiness and sorrow. And your faith and destiny depend on this mind. Now only when you get the knowledge, then you can live very wisely. No, so you try to no, try to, to get the, the, no, our, the, the to understand the teaching. No, we are explaining no, in detail. But when you talk to me, I, I, I know that you don't understand much yet. No, you don't understand much yet. No, so. That is the difference between, not between uh, actually, you know, some of us and uh, the, the others. Now, for myself, for example, you know, when I attend the university, and all the whole class, you know, from the kindergarten till the doctorate degree, so I usually stood first in my class. You know, so I stood first. Why? So. You know, <laughs> You have to exert you know, the effort. So I never miss the class. I never miss the class throughout this. No, even, no, so you are sick a little bit. I don't care. I, I will come. So when the teacher teaches, I listen very attentively. So I make the determination. Whatever the teacher teaches now, I must understand. No, so when the teacher, he teaches, he explains. So if you don't understand that, only when you come back to you know, do your place and try to read it, it will be very difficult to understand. So if you just understand, understand there, then it's become very easy. But you know, I try to listen so that I understand everything what the teacher teaches. And then when I come home, you know, I make my study hours. So in the university hostel, they say study hours 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. That is the quiet time for study. So I said my study time is from 6 to 11. So every day 6 p.m. I will be in my, in my table. So I try to study all what is taught today. So finish all the, you know, the exercises and that they ask me. So. You know, if I have time, I also refer, read back the, 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 the previous one. 
So that means I know everything. Not all the teacher teaches in the books, I know everything. So when you read it again and again, you do not, you do not you know, forget it. You remember them. No, you remember them. So if you remember like that, when you appear in examination, so you can answer very well. You can answer very well. No, so it, your attitude is very important. So now some of you, oh, I like to go back tomorrow. No, so they say. So that means they don't develop interest. No interest that means. No, so they are not getting what we, we teach us. No, you don't get that. Some of you get it, some of you, no, you listen very attentively, I notice. No, so you should uh, the exact effort no, to get the highest benefit of the teaching. Okay. Those of you who have difficulty to understand our teaching, you should understand you have a lot of defilements, especially these five nivarana, the hindrances. So the hindrances are disturbing you. Now, no, the best way to conquer these hindrances is by undertaking samatha bhavana, tranquility meditation. So this tranquility meditation is very important. Very important. No? Because it is important, the Buddha, he described 40 subjects of meditation. 40 ways how to not develop the tranquility means peacefulness of the mind. No, tranquility means the peace, the calmness, and serenity and purity of the mind. So how to develop the purity of the mind? So it is very important. So no, the Buddha, he described 40 subjects of meditation. So at least you have to undertake no, one special meditation. No, and con meditate continuously. No, continuously, strenuously, then you can develop that the jhana concentration, the jhana concentration. So yesterday I told, no, I taught you, you know, the two meditation yesterday, not just the, the basic way of the meditation, no, radiating loving kindness and reflecting on the attribute of the Buddha. So these are among the four guardian meditation we say. No, that are essential and desirable at all places, at all time, to guard you, no, to guard you, to protect you from all dangers, internal dangers, these hindrances, and also the external dangers. No, so, to make you safe, and then you should no, choose the, the one special meditation. So, if you, no, the, actually in Visuji Mecca, no, we describe, I describe there, as taught by the Buddha, by radiating loving kindness, you can develop four rupa vajra jhana. No, you can develop four rupa vajra jhanas. But it is no. If you can develop the jhana and radiate loving kindness, as your mind is very powerful and concentrated, your loving kindness will be very powerful, very powerful. No, even some of your enemy. No, who is giving you a lot of trouble. You just concentrate on him, develop loving kindness. Then he will become very friendly to you. He will apologize you for his offenses on you. No? But no, to, to develop the right concentration by the, this, the loving kindness of Buddha Nosti is difficult. Difficult. So here no, in this book, I described so no the about meditation on casino. Casino is a meditation device that should be observed completely. And there are ten kinds of casino, and uh, the first one is we call the art disc. No patui casino is just meditating on an art disc. No, so it is very easy to make this uh, the meditation subject. So, no, you just take a canvas, a piece of canvas, and you smear pure clay. No? So you smear on that canvas to make an art disc about no, 15 inches in diameter. So you just put it on the earth when, on, when you meditate. 
and you sit you know, half, about four feet from that artist. So on a stool, only one foot, one foot high. Then you just watch you know, the, the artist and you meditate patawi patawi. Because patawi is the element, we call the, el the art element that is predominant in art. So, or you can just image, uh, the meditate, art, art, you can just meditate like that, art, art, or patawi, patawi. That is patawi meditation. It costs you nothing. And no, not difficult at all. Even children, they can meditate. Not just watching there. So, applying your mind again and again, so that your mind you know, will not wander away. If the vendors way, call it back. Just apply it. No? Patui, patui. So that is just meditation. Okay. So, undertaking meditation is very easy. <laughs> very easy. No? Just focus your attention on that artist. No? On the artist. Then you reflect mentally. No, we reflect mentally, patui, patui. That is the better way, not the Pali word. Patui means the art element, not just the art, art. No, we are reflecting on that. So, on your part, no, you, what you have to do is, you must have no, five, five powers, we say, to fight against those enemies, the hindrances. No, you need the five no, five powers, five strengths, we say. So these five strengths, number one is Sadda. No, Sadda is... So, <clears throat> tomorrow we are going to no, study this, about these mental factors. Now, no, Sadda is... No, the, this is the Sadda, the leader of beautiful mental factors. It is the leader. No, to have faith and confidence in the Buddha and his teaching. So, no, this, this the Sadda is the leader in performing any meritorious stage. No, you come here no, to undertake no, this course because of your Sadda. No, your Sadda. And when Buddha no, was asked, no, what is our most, no, the most precious treasure that we can possess. The Buddha said it is Sadda. No, Sadda is the most no, the valuable treasure that we can possess. No, so this Sadda, no, so the more you know about no, the attributes of the Buddha, the Dhamma and the Sangha, then your Sadda will be greater. And the best way to develop no, this Sadda is meditation and also study of Abhidhamma. Now from my experience, now when I understand this Abhidhamma, my faith in the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha becomes very, very high. Very, very high. So now, no, I am not tired. I can teach you the whole day, if you can listen. No, if you can listen. I can teach you the whole day. No, so people ask me, Oh, how are you? So, if the, in the Chinese way, they always add two years no, in their age, that's the Chinese way. So, I'm 81 in the Chinese way. <laughs> no, no. But I can still walk just like you, not just like you. No. So, because I have this faith no, in the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha, I know I'm doing the noblest walk no, by just teaching you. And I'm getting the greatest merit, no, by doing that. So when you know that, no, so the wisdom is also necessary. No, the wisdom is this panya jidesika, no, panya or panya indriya is the wisdom. No, to, no, so when you understand, oh, meditation is the most beneficial, no, work or task to do in life. And also it is you know, the most beneficial, most useful, most valuable, and the most you know, enjoyable task to do. Enjoyable task. So if you 
get into the meditation, you will see, oh, it is real, very, very joyful, very joyful, no? So, and then you get two, no, sadda and wisdom, no? They should be balanced, the Buddha said. And then another two is, no, virya is the effort, no? Effort is the, among the neutral mental factors, we have this virya, no? This is the, the effort. And the ikagada, that is we call the samadhi, no? ikagada, they should be balanced. So we must exert the effort. No, if you are no, lazy, then you cannot progress. No? So your effort is just to apply your mind, to focus your mind on that art, no, artist again and again. Applying your mind, patui, patui, patui. No, so that means the mind is wandering to various objects. So we prevent it, not to wander. Just you take no, notice of this, the, the, the artist. So we apply, so we control the mind actually. No, so patui, patui. So with faith and wisdom, you just no, apply it. Then you must have mindfulness. No, mindfulness is sati, no, also a beautiful mental factor and the most essential in meditation. And actually, in every walk of life, mindfulness is very important. Now, mindfulness means to be mindful of the meditation subject all the time. That means you have to be aware of this at this all the time. So if you are aware of this all the time, your mind will not wander away. So as soon as you lose your mindfulness, that means huh, you forget about the, you know, the art casino, the art this. Your mind will wander away. Will wander away. And there were some people say, oh, meditation, many thoughts coming in. The thoughts about the family, the thoughts about business, the thoughts, the thoughts about social affairs, all these things. So, again, there is the same desire. You know, those thoughts, they come in because you lose mindfulness. So if you have mindfulness, no thoughts will come in. Your mind will not wander away. No, and then we have you no know, the no we have five only five you no know, the faith and confidence in the Buddha's teaching, and then we must have we exert effort you not know, to uh, to fix our mind on this meditation subject, and then we must have mindfulness we must be aware of that meditation object all the time, all the time, and you no know, concentration means you not know, to focus our mind on this meditation subject, not allowing the mind to wander away. And wisdom, you no know, wisdom leads the way, shows the way. So you know it is the most beneficial. You now then you are willing to do it. You must respect you know, this, this meditation. It is not an ordinary thing. You know, for an ignorant person, they will say, oh, you just sit watching the earth. No, what is the benefit? They would say. But now, when you have the wisdom, you know, oh, this is the teaching of the Buddha. Not just by this, we can control our mind, not to wander away. And we can develop moral minds continuously. So many billions every second. So we are getting many billions of good karmas, which are more valuable than billions of dollars. No, the U.S. dollars, I mean, <laughs> more valuable than U.S. dollars. No? So it is the noblest way, it is the only way the Buddha said to go to Nibbana. No, to go to Nibbana, no other way, no other way. So you should know the teaching of the Buddha, the way, not the, what is that, the Eightfold Noble Path. No, yesterday we described some, something, so you must know it. So if you just you know, meditate on that, patawi, 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 then you are developing moral minds, mahakusa chaita by billions, and accompanied by these five jhana factors, we take up applying the mind again and again to that object. We chara sustain the mind by examining that sense object again and again. And BG, joy and happiness. No, in doing this work, when you know it is very beneficial and very noble and very, no, and and, and the, no, and it is, 
it is the, the, the way to go to Nibbana. Then you will have joy. Now if you don't have joy, then you mean you don't have understanding. So some person asked me, so we have joy in meditation? Definitely you should have joy. Because we are developing this, this general factors, including this joy and happiness. Sukha is happiness. No pleasant feeling and happiness, they are connected. No, so just by meditation there, this joy and the happiness will, will, no, they will increase, they will become stronger and stronger. And then ekagada, one-pointedness. No, it unites the mind and keep it fixed on that meditation subject. So, that is you know, the walking in meditation. And, you no, know, that English proverb is very, very nice. You know, so, I'm very fond of the, the, the proverbs also. So, they say in one English proverb, take care of the fences, the pound will take care of it itself. You understand the meaning? No, like in the England, they use the pennies, the pences is the pennies, and then the pound is their high money. So they mean, take care of the pences, the pennies, and spending them. Try to take care, but you, you really need to buy it, to spend it. So if you take care of this, don't worry about the pound. The pound will take care of itself. So, no, that means you will not be a star again. You don't not, you don't you don't spend no the the unnecessarily. So that is very good. The same thing here. You just exert the effort and focus your mind on this no, on this the at this and just reflect but we but we that's all what you have to do. Then the rest, these jhana factors, they they will they will do their work. So while you are meditating we say you no know, moral mind accompanied by these jhana factors, arise again and again. So when they arise and again and again, you know, they have the repetition effect. So in the Patana causal relation, the Buddha, he described you know, the repetition effect. You now, for example, you study Abhidhamma one time. You understand to a certain extent, but you don't understand all. Now if you study the next time, you, know, you attend my lecture the next time, you will know better. No? You will know better and better and better. If you keep reading, reading, then you know very well everything. So that is a repetition effect, we say. Just, you just do that. So the jhana factors, no? they will become stronger and stronger, and they will suppress those hindrances. The hindrances, they will suppress for you. You don't need to, to suppress them. No? So when they are well suppressed, those hindrances will not arise in your mind anymore. Then you will find that your mind is not wandering anymore. It just remains focused on the others for half an hour, for one hour. Then you will get you know, the meditation sign. We have the Chinese saying, one picture is what a thousand words. No? So, no, when you see no, by your eyes, you understand better and you remember better. So, please no, look on page 48. So, the middle paragraph, that is the fourth paragraph of that page. Now, the five factors of jhana are being developed slowly in meditation. The initial application we take applies the mind to the earth this again and again. It temporarily inhibits, no, inhibits means prevents sloth and torpor from arising in the mind. So, no, this we take will eliminate sloth and torpor temporarily. Then sustain application vichara sustains the mind on the earth disk by examining the object again and again. It temporarily inhibits sceptical doubt, which is nature not to arise. So if your mind is wandering, you exert no, great effort to apply the mind to the earth disk again and again. No? That is the taker. So if you do that, sloth and torpor will, will not arise in you.
no, the laziness slot and dopa. No? And then, no, if you are mindful of the meditation subject, then Viti Keksha Satyakoda will not arise. The next paragraph, Viti develops joy or pleasurable interest in the object. It temporarily inhibits evil. No, that dosa, anger, evil will not arise if you have the joy and pity. Now pity is also a precursor. Precursor means forerunner. No, the forerunner of sukha, pleasant feeling. Pity creates an interest in the subject while sukha enables one to enjoy the object. That means when you get pity, pity will give rise to sukha, happiness. So happiness will arise. And sukha holds the mind to stay longer on the object by its bliss. It temporarily drives away restlessness and remorse. And ikakada unites the chaita and its concomitants. Concomitants mean mental factors, not the chaita and mental factors on the object to reach the state of one-pointedness. It temporarily inhibits sand desire. Sand desire is the worst enemy. And that can be suppressed by this concentration we call ikakada. Yes? Now when the hindrances are suppressed by the jhana factors not to arise in the mind, your mind becomes calm, peaceful and not wandering anymore. If you can concentrate on the abdis for half an hour or more continuously, try to close your eyes no? intermittently. Intermittently mean, no? so now you close it, if you cannot see the abdis, open it again. And you just keep on meditating for some time, then you close your eyes again. And you will see that at one stage, when you close your eyes, you can see the artist with closed eyes, as you have seen it with open eyes. Then we say you attain the acquired sign or learning sign. No? It is at the bottom of the second last paragraph. You can see that word, acquired sign, okaha namita. No, we also call it the learning sign. When you get that acquired sign, then you can go to the meditation hall or to your private room and you keep on meditation on that sign. Now with close eye you can see not that artist. So this sign is identical with the original artist. So you keep on reflecting patui patui with close eyes. So just keep your mind fixed on that, you know, on that, the image we call the, the learning sign. And you know, your concentration will rise. And when you attain you know, the neighborhood concentration, neighborhood means close to the jhana. When you come to that you know, meditation, the sign changes. So it becomes you know, very clear and smooth, just like the mirror, and very bright, you know, very distinct. So then we say you attain the counter sign. So on page 49, the second line there, you know, at the end of the second line you can see the counter sign, Pati Bhaga Namita. Now we describe the difference between the two signs you know, in the next paragraph. The difference between the two signs is very distinct. Okha Namita, the acquired sign, is an exact mental replica of the original object. Mental replica means no, you, no, you remember that, that sign in the mind. Or in, you say that sign appears in your mind and it, it remains fixed in the mind. So you can see it. Now, Bhati Bhaga Namita, no, count the sign. Oh, I, I continued, it contains all the defects present in the original object, not just like the fingerprints and like the, no, some, the, uh, the marbles, no, some, and then some sticks no, in the earth will appear in the learning sign. 
Now, Bhattibhaganda Mita, Ganga sign is free from all defects. It is very bright and smooth. And this sign may not possess a definite form or color, it is just a mode of appearance and born of perception. So it is created by the mind, actually. No, as you reflect it very, you know, very often, your degree of you know, the concentration rises, and when you come close to the jhana, then this sign, the counter sign, appears. So very distinct. When you attain the counter sign, you should be very glad, you know, because you succeed in this meditation now. And you are sure you are Tikhi Tukha, three-rooted person, <laughs> if you attain that counter sign. No? So at that stage, the mind is pure, because all the hindrances, the defilements, are totally suppressed not to arise in the mind. So the mind is pure. So when it becomes pure, as I told you, it radiates very bright, penetrative light. So you now when you get the counter sign, Again from the mind, very bright penetrative light arises. With close eye you can see all the objects in front of you. No? And then at that time, the five jhana factors, no? the five jhana factors become very quite well developed. Quite developed, so that means Piti Sukha and Ekagada are very strong now. So you, no? you experience joy and happiness that you have not experienced before. So even at this stage, no, you enjoy bliss and happiness much more superior than the sensual pleasure. So, and Ikegata is very strong, it unites all these consciousness mental factors to remain focused no, on that counter sign for one hour, two hours, three hours. Your mind would not wander away, it would just remain fixed there. Now you have to extend that counter sign. So that counter sign appears by your mind power. And you can extend it by your mind power. You just make a wish. May the counter sign become one inch larger, another inch larger, another inch larger, another inch larger. So you just expand it until it fills all the spaces in front of you. So, that is not the expanded counter sign. Then, you, know, you fix your attention on that expanded counter sign and just keep your mind fixed there. You know? So, taking note, it is the, the, you, know, the, you can reflect, but we, but we, but we, but we, just keep that fixed. So, if your mind can remain fixed you know, at that counter sign for one hour, two hours, three hours, then we say you are doing the first jhana. No? So the first jhana, much more superior than the neighborhood concentration. Now in the first jhana, all the five jhana factors are fully developed. So PD Sukha is very strong. So you enjoy you know, the, the, the happiness and bliss. You know? So we say the highest, you know, the happiness and bliss in the world. No, that is, we say, worldly happiness. Now, what you should do is, no, you have to practice to be very skillful in developing this first Rupa Vajra Jhana. And in this Rupa Vajra Jhana, we say all the five no, Jhana factors are present. Then, no, you should go higher to the second Jhana. No, it's not difficult anymore to go higher. So, in going higher, we eliminate this Viteka. No, because Viteka becomes an enemy of Jhana. No, as Viteka applies the mind to various objects. So you are in the Jhana state, if Viteka applies your mind to your sweetheart or husband <laughs> or your family, you are out of Jhana, you lose your Jhana. So, no, without the Jhana, you, it, we, we call it the second jhana, which is more sublime, no, more, no, the, more no, the sublime, more calm, and more blissful than the first jhana. 
So to do that, we concerned, we folk, we do meditation again. That is not the the expanded counter sign. No, they will remain no, in your vision. As soon as you close your eye, no, that counter sign will appear. You meditate on this again, but we, but we, but this time you don't allow we take uh, to arise in the mind. You can do that, no, by just fixing your mind on that counter sign. Keep your mind fixed there without we take uh, applying it. Then when you can remain no, in that counter sign for one hour, two hour, three hour, without we take a now, we say you attain the second jhana. So in the second jhana, no, you have only four jhana factors. No, vichara, bidi, sukha, ikakata. Then when you are skillful in the second jhana, you go higher again to the third jhana by eliminating vichara. Because if vichara is present, we take a, will come back. So if you can eliminate vichara, no, the, the, the mind will be more calm and stable, more powerful again. So you reflect no, on that expanded counter sign again. This time you don't allow vichara, vichaka, vichara to arise in the mind. So if your mind can be remain fixed on that counter sign for one hour, two hour, three hours, we say you are taking the third jhana. In the third jhana, you have only piti, sukha, ikakata. Only three jhana factors. That means piti, sukha are more developed than the, the previous jhana. So you get greater joy and greater happiness. Now again, no, we eliminate this piti again. No? Because if piti is present, vitaka, vichara would come back. And this joy, no, is it, it, no, it, it, it lifts up your mind, so it agitates the mind to some extent. So if you can eliminate Viteka, you will get the food jhana, which contains only Sukha Itekata. That is more peaceful, more calm and more powerful. So we meditate on the counter sign again. This time we don't develop the, 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 the joy. If you don't like, you like the joy to, to arise in your mind, it will not arise. So just meditate on that, no, expand that counter sign, but we, but we. So if it remains fixed there for one hour, two hours, you get the food jhana. Only sukha ikagada present. So sukha is the highest among all the jhana in this food jhana. So we say it is the greatest mundane or worldly bliss. No worldly bliss. So don't stop there. <laughs> You can go higher by eliminating that sukha. No, but when the, the sukha is very pleasant, so no, it no, it attracts the, the lopa greed. No, oh, not to not to to, to to arise. Oh, so so blissful, oh, so nice. So I like it. No, I I would like to get attached to it. So better get rid of this sukha. So when you get rid of sukha, upikha will arise. Upikha ikagada. And this upikha is no, not only the neutral feeling, as we say upikha here, it also refers to this mental factor, tatra majatata. We also call this upikha tatra majatata. So it balances all the consciousness mental factors to be uniformly united. So the mind becomes more peaceful, more calm, and more powerful. So like the power meditations, non meditators, they can develop this jhana. All this jhana can be developed by many meditators nowadays. We are very happy. Not only Myanmar, many no, foreigners can also develop these jhanas in the our power meditation center. Now they say when this get this fifth jhana is the best. Very calm, very sublime. So now if you use this fifth jhana to undertake vipassana meditation, then you can progress very quickly. Well, I hope you understand quite well so far. So no, some of you nod your heads quite good. <laughs> now we can not read. The names of the five Rupa Vajra 
moral consciousness on page 50. So there we get you know, the, the symbols in the box. So it is the same as you know, this box here, but it is, it is much clearer in the book. So you know, the, the, the above five, you know, the, the five words, they are the jhana factor. So tak means pitaka, cha means vichara, pi means piti, su means sukha, u means upika, ek means ekagada. And then up to the fourth jhana we get the, pro the positive sign. Because up to the fourth jhana sukha is present. So I told you sukha is, no, is also mental pleasant feeling and bodily pleasant feeling, the sukha. So it also con uh, refers to somanasa, the same as somanasa. So we put in the, uh, the positive sign. When the fifth jhana is upika, so we give it the negative sign. And below it, no, pa, du, ta, cha, pan, cha, is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, no, in Bali. So we read the name, no, number one. So you just read no, the five jhana factors. Viteka, vichara, piti, sukha, igagada. Now, Sukha Ikagada, no, you can just read like this. Here, we eliminate A, because A, E, two vowels are close together. So we give you apostrophe. The Chu, A is eliminated there. So when no, A is absent, we, we can read Sukha Ikagada. So you can read Sukha, and you can also write Sukha Ikagada. Sahitam means together with. No, together with these five jhana factors. Patamach jhana kusala jaitam. So that patama is the first. No, the first jhana moral consciousness. Kusala jaitam. So if you look at the meaning, no, you can understand very easily. So first jhana moral consciousness together with no, Vitekka is initial obligation, Vichara is sustained obligation, Piti is joy, Sukha is bliss, and Ekagata is one pointedness. So if you know this first, uh, the first name, then in the second name you just eliminate Vitekka. So we read again Vichara, Piti, Sukhe, Kagata, Sahitam, Duteya, Jana, Kusala, Chaita. Duteya means second. So if you look in the meaning, number two, second jhana, moral consciousness, together with sustained implication, joy, bliss, and one-pointedness. So vitekka is absent. Then you go to number three, we eliminate vichara again. So we have piti sukha ikagata sahitam tateyach jhana kusala chaitam. Tateya means the third, no, moral jhana consciousness. Number four. We eliminate PT, so we have Sukha Igakata Sahidam. Chatutta Jhana. No, Chatutta means the fourth. Kusala Chaitam. Number five, we eliminate Sukha. So we put in Upika. Upika Igakata Sahidam. Panchamach Jhana Kusala Chaitam. Panchamach means, Panchama means the fifth. So you know how to develop the five rupa vajra jhana. So now you can undertake meditation you know, to develop them. So it is a possibility. You know? So many people have done it. So we should be able to do it also. You know? Now we go to the next topic. Fine, fine material sphere means rupa vajra. Result and consciousness mean vipaka chaita. So these five, no, rupa vachara, vipaka chaita, they are named no, the same way as the rupa vachara kusala chaita. So in the name you just change kusala chaita into vipaka chaita, that's all. And again with the five rupa vachara kriya chaita, the names are again the same. We just change Kusla Chaita into Kriya Chaita. So you know the names already. 
on page 51, the second topic, immaterial sphere consciousness, no? arupa vajra chaita. Again, the, uh, no? the higher consciousness, no? these 12 arupa vajra chaita. They are higher than this rupa vajra chaita. So, when you, after you attain the five rupa vajra jhana, it's not difficult to go up to these no? arupa vajra jhana. So, no, if possible, you should, no, you should also try to attain those four arupa vajra jhana. So, on page 51, no, so under that topic, these twelve arupa vajra chaitas are equally divided into three groups. So, the same as no, before. So, number one, arupa vajra kusala chaitas, there are four numbers. We call arupa jhana, moral consciousness. Number two, so instead of kusala, you just change to vipaka. Arupa vajra vipaka chaitas, arupa jhana, resultant consciousness. Number three, Arupa Vajra Kriya Chaita, so Arupa Jhana, functional consciousness, so for each. So just like before, no, non-arahats, no, by undertaking meditation, we can develop the four Arupa Vajra Kusala Chaita. And the four Arupa Vajra Vipaka Chaita are the result, no, the result of these Arupa Vajra Kusala Kama. So they are the rebirth consciousness of Arupa Brahma, Arupa Brahma. And then when Arahats, no, they undertake meditation, they can develop the four Arupa Vajra Kriya Jhana. Now, immaterial, Arupa, means no materiality. No? So no materiality. So in order to develop these four Arupa Vajra Jhana, no, we have to develop no, non-attachment to materiality that is our body. No, so we are so much in love with our body, <laughs> so we don't see any fall in our body. No, we don't see any fall. But no, there are a lot of falls no, in this body. No, so because of this body, no, you have to be conceived in the mother's womb for more than nine months, and then have to be born, and have to be brought up. And now you have to walk the whole life just to, you know, to maintain this body, to provide it with food, lodging, and clothing, and all these things. You have to walk the whole day. And you know, there are many diseases, so you know, the diseases you have, to, you have to suffer. And because of this body now, you, know, you have sick quite a long time, so many of you have the, have the pain in the body now, no? especially in the hip. No? I also have the pain. Some people say, oh, teacher, you can sit so long, don't you get the pain? So, of course, if you have the body, you have the pain. <laughs> no? So, if you don't pay attention to the, to the pain, then the, the pain will disappear. No? If you don't pay attention, so it does not, no? you don't know they are painful anymore. No? So it, it develops the pain. When the temperature is very cold, then you are frozen to death. When the temperature is very hot, then again you are also killed. No? And because of this body, you quarrel with each other. No? So you fight with each other, and you kill each other. So if there is no body, no more trouble, all this trouble, you don't have to take. So won't it be better? Well, you don't agree because you are in love with your body. <laughs> so when we heard the, the thunder sound, the thunder sound, we got afraid because of this body. <laughs> so anyway, you should reflect no, on the force of this body. So, no? If we don't have this body, we don't have, we have very less suffering. So it would be nice if there is no body. So try to develop you know, the, some, some, the, you know, some knowledge of the fall of the, the, the body. Then you know, we can go to the, 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 full, the, the full Arupa Vajra Jhana. 
Now to do that, you have to develop the fifth jhana again. So you have to, you know, just like climbing up the ladder. So you have to climb, you know, from first jhana, second jhana, third jhana, fourth jhana, fifth jhana. So when we say you develop the fifth jhana, you have to meditate on the expanded counter sign again. No, so that expanded counter sign, you just the black butterfly, butterfly, you develop the first jhana. Then you come up with, no, eliminate we take develop the second jhana. And then the third jhana, fourth jhana, fifth jhana. You come out of the fifth jhana. Then, now you are going to do the arupa jhana. So, those, no, the, the counter sign, no, appears in front of no, your eyes. Actually, it appears in the mind door, this counter sign, it appears in the mind door. Now, the mind door is no, our life continuum, maha vipaka theta. No? So our rebirth consciousness and then it, 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 uh, it functions as life continuum. It arises in the blood of the heart, no? that this is the life continuum. Actually, all these counter signs, no? they appear in that mind door. We think we are seeing in front of our eyes, no? But anyway, no, this counter sign will remain. No, it will remain because we have some attachment to this counter sign. So it will not disappear. Now, to do Arupa Vajra, no, the meditation, we neglect this counter sign. We neglect it, no? So we ignore it. And we try to concentrate on the infinite space beyond that counter sign. So beyond this counter sign, as you have done the expanded counter sign to feel don't to fill up all the spaces in front of you. So if the counter sign disappear, no, there would be infinite space. Infinite space. So though you don't see infinite space yes, you visualize it. Oh beyond this counter sign there will be infinite space. So, no, you, no, you concentrate your attention on that kind of space and you meditate akasa akasa. That means space, space. No, space, space. You just meditate. No, as you meditate, remember your, med your concentration is already very high. No, though you come up from the fifth jhana, your concentration is close to that fifth jhana. We say it is at the neighborhood of the fifth jhana, very high. No, already very high, so you can concentrate very well no, on that on that meditation space space space. Now, if you can focus your mind quite well on that, you know, the empty space, then your my attachment to that counter sign will disappear. Then the counter sign, then that expanded counter sign will disappear. It disappear immediately. So now you can see the infinite space. So keep on meditation, but we, the, this time, space, space, agasa, agasa. If your mind remains fixed on that space for one hour, two hours, three hours, we say you attain the first arupa vajra, jhana. Now as this jhana takes space as its object, it is called agasa nanja yarana jhana. No? So the name is given no, on page 52, no, on page 52, so the third paragraph, no, so the third paragraph, you say, when his my attachment, we call Nikanti, for the counter sign disappears, the counter sign suddenly disappears, unfolding or exposing endless space. Concentrating his mindfulness on the infinite space, he goes on meditating akasa akasa or space space till he reaches the first arupa jhana. This jhana is called akasa nanja yarana kusala chitta. Okay. Now you practice to become skillful in developing that akasa nanja yarana kusala jhana. Then, after developing that, not that jhana, you come up from the jhana, then, no, you focus on that akasa nanja yarana chitta. 
you take that as your meditation subject. And then you reflect vinyana, vinyana. Vinyana means consciousness, consciousness. So continuously. So if your mind you know, remains on this meditation subject for one hour, two hour, three hours, we say you attain the second jhana. And because it concentrates on vinyana, we call it vinyananca yarana kusala chaita. So no, you can look on the middle paragraph. No, there is the, the paragraph below the, the first we have read. He then continues his meditation by concentrating his mindfulness on akasa nanja yarana kusala chaita, meditating vinyana vinyana repeatedly till he reaches the second arupa jhana. This jhana is called Vainya Nanja Yarana Kusala Chaita. Now when you attain the jhana, no, you can look inside your body. No, you can look penetratively, you can see your heart. And you can see that no, life continuum, Mahavipaka Chaita, no, in the blood of the heart, no, arising there as a bright star, like a bright star. No, these beautiful consciousness, they are all bright because they are free from defilement. So that our life continuum is Mahavipaka Chaita, it is also bright, like Easter. And we call that the mind door. And by looking at the mind door, you can see that in finite space. And also you can see Akasa Nantyayana Kusla Chaita taking this infinite space as its object. So that means you can see the chaita, vinyana, when you attain the jhana. So we say you reflect on that chaita, vinyana, vinyana, and you develop you know, the second arupa or jhana. Now when you go to the third jhana, then you neglect this akasa nandhyayana chaita again. You don't pay attention to it. No, then you reflect on nothingness. No, nothingness. Nothing as me. Nothing exists. So how can you no, the concentrate on nothingness? So that is the question. So no, the imam who has who meditated its answer. Well, it's easy. Now you can see it is uh, no, it is the, the pointer. Now if I no, take it away. That is nothingness. <laughs> Before it is present, now it is not present, it is nothingness. So just by reflecting on that nothingness, 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 if you can concentrate for one hour, two hours, three hours, we say you attain the third jhana. And because it concentrates on nothingness, it is called Akenjanya Yarana Jhana. So the next paragraph again, now if you, you look in the in the book, to develop the third arupa jhana, he focuses his attention not on the akasa nanja yarana kusala chaita, but on nothingness. Meditating, nati kenji, nati kenji, there is nothing whatsoever, repeatedly, till he reaches not the jhana. And this jhana is called aken chanya yadana. Kusala Chaita. Akin Chanya also means nothingness. <laughs>